Now, the National Rugby League is set to become the first major football code to throw its support behind the yes vote in the referendum to change Australia's constitution to insert a voice to parliament. I'm firmly of the view that sporting codes should just stick to their sport and not get involved in politics. It just puts people off and they tend to make a big mess of it when they turn activist. But the decision will be a big boost to the yes side of the campaign, no doubt. Here to discuss that decision is Indigenous leader and no campaigner Warren Mundine. Warren, thanks for joining me on the program. Why is the NRL making this move, which, after all, is about politics and not sport? Uh, look, uh, first, I will disagree with you in regard to the boost. This is not going to be a boost. The Australian public uh, is not stupid. Uh, they, they, they're not mugs. They, they know that this, this is some sort of, you know, political kowtowing and that. I know I get phone calls every day of the week from players and ex-players and people working within the NRL and the AFL and that who are, are not happy. They are not going to vote uh, yes. They're going to vote no in this thing. But they're living under fear. Do, do, do we really need to have our sporting codes living under fear? And also, uh, what happens if the uh, no campaign wins? What does that look like? It looks like the NRL and the AFL and all these other bodies are totally out of, out of touch with the Australian public and totally out of cut touch with, uh, with their own supporters. So, so, you know, I wish, you know, like you... I really I hope you're right on that one. Codes ...would just do what they're supposed to do. Oh, no, I have no doubt about it. Stick to your knitting, you know, hey? We've got a fantastic team out there and we're, and we're working really hard on it. Do we know if the decision is backed by the individual clubs or is it just the national body's decision? Well, who knows, you know. My, my saying is, and I call this the Collingwood experience, Collingwood board decided that they support the voice, but then they said that their staff and their players can vote any which way that they wish to vote. And, and, and how, what they did, they brought the Yes campaigners in and they did a presentation to the, to, to the staff and players and then they asked me to come in and I did the same thing. And then the, the, then the staff and players, they can go away and vote whatever way they like to vote. And that's the way it should be. It should be about a, a proper balanced education program. Now, if Mr Volante hasn't done that, then he, all he is is a propagandist. All he is is a person who's just... Uh, taken up, uh, uh, you know, uh, and took one position without getting a full picture of the whole thing. And quite frankly, that is, that is not how Australians are. They like to hear the full stories before they make up their own decision about uh, how people are going to vote. It's the definition of a fair go, right? Um, has the NRL, to your knowledge, it's done anything to find go, out yes. whether this aligns with the views... Yeah. Does it align with the perspectives of fans? Or is this an agenda that's being pushed by big corporate sponsors and activist players? Oh, look, it's an elitist approach. Uh, it is being pushed by sp sponsors. It is being pushed by all these elite organisations uh, and elite people who, uh, who uh, you know, you don't see ordinary Australians coming out and doing these things. In fact, we've got a campaign coming up where... We're ordinary Aboriginal people, just bush people, people in remote and regional Australia, uh, who will be coming out and saying this is not not our voice. And so, and so, uh, so what is what is the uh, NRL going to say to those Aboriginal people? What are they going to say to those people out there in those communities? You know, like bugger off, we're the NRL, we're this elite organisation, and we can do what we like. Warren, I was really encouraged to see um, the news that all the different parts of the Yes campaign have come together and are forging ahead to make sure that really important message about um, not dividing Australia campaign, by no, race you, is, is heard far and wide. Um, thanks for your role in that and thank you for your time 